gonna pull up on Barnes and Noble's warehouse in New York and I'm gonna beat a bitch's ass. <laughs> My name is Adriana, and if you're new here, um, it's so great to meet you. If you're not, you know the drill. I want to talk about this before I forget. I got a bookshelf. I got like a legitimate real bookshelf. Um, it's from Target, obviously. I don't know if you can tell, but this is very Target-like. I was planning on doing a video of me like assembling it, but it turns out I bought this um, three days after I had major intensive surgery and I had to have uh, my boyfriend and my friend come over to build it for me because I could not wait because I'm a little ill in the head. I physically could not have waited until I was recovered, which I guess is now, uh, to build this. So that's why I don't have a video of me building it, but I have one. I gave it with the book cart. It was way too small and I should have predicted that. Today I splurged, and by today I mean a week ago because this is a package and I bought it a week ago because that's how packages work. They have to take time to get to your house. I'm in a book reading mood again. I bought books, and I'm gonna show you what books I bought, and we're gonna talk about them. Ugh. I already opened it because um, I filmed a TikTok with it. Follow me on TikTok at Astro Caramel. I'm really funny. For some reason, I've never bought online Barnes and Nobles. I always just buy in store. So I don't know if this is the case with every Barnes and Nobles online order, um, but they gave me a DoorDash coupon as well as a HelloFresh thing. And I don't care that my code's showing because I'm, I'm not gonna get HelloFresh. And a wine voucher. I don't know what this does, but who cares? Um, I don't need, I don't really eat DoorDash either. But let me not have this on my lap for the duration of the video. The first book I got was In Deeper Waters because look how cute this looks. This is by F.T. Luckins. I am on a pirate kick right now. I'm re-watching Black Sails. I'm replaying Black Flag, Assassin's Creed, and I'm also reading Sea Fire right now. I'm in a pirate mood, so what? better than to buy this. The cover is gorgeous. It is really, really cute. I have no idea what this book's about. All I know is that it's about pirates. I read a little bit of the description. Ahem. Most princes would be eager for the coming of age tour, but Tal isn't most princes. He knows he can't partake in the adventure and debauchery his siblings enjoyed on their tours. Not when letting loose could mean accidentally revealing his forbidden magic and upending his kingdom's hard won peace. I thought this was about pirates. I didn't know we had magic in this. I actually don't see the word pirate anywhere in this description, so I think this is just about like ships on the sea, and I was a fool for assuming it was about pirates because I saw rigs. But it looks very cute, very interesting, and even though it's not about pirates, it's still uh, a big ship on the sea, and I guess that'll be enough to quench my pirate thirst. Next up, we have The Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas. This cover is gorgeous. I am obsessed with the Y horror covers because they always just look so good, and this is no exception. I don't know what this is about either, besides a boy that can see ghosts. I'm really not hard to sell on books, if you just give me a one sentence concept, I will most likely buy the book without really knowing what the plot's about. If I can read a little bit of the summary, ahem, living in two worlds is exhausting and no one knows this better than 16 year old Jake Livingston. His hardworking class diverse neighborhood is a far cry from the world of St. Clair Prep where he is one of the only black students constantly at the mercy of racist teachers and peers who don't understand him. That I understand. When his neighbor, a survivor of a grizzly school shooting, is murdered, the bloody initials of the now dead shooter Sawyer Dune are left on the entryway all of Jake's home. Something about a YA protagonist that sees ghosts is so interesting to me every time. Not even just like a, oh, this is a spooky situation. No, just like a kid who can see ghosts and who's kind of tired of it. I love that trope. This looks really good. I really love the premise. And like I said, the art is amazing. I love the detail of these hands coming through. They are so gorgeous. They make the backdrop so nice. And it's just like a nice, like dark, spooky atmosphere. I'm obsessed with it. Next, we have This Poison Heart by my girl, Kaylin Barron, who wrote Cinderella Is Not Dead. I have been waiting for this book for months. This actually came out in June, uh, but in June I forgot books existed and I was solely reading manga and watching anime. So I didn't really have the want to pick it up, but now I do and it's gorgeous. 
gorgeous cover. I expect nothing less from Miss Barron. I am absolutely obsessed with how this looks. I want to display it because it is just so perfect of a cover. Barnes and Nobles, I will kill you. No! No, the pages are crimped. I'm gonna kill myself. Are you kidding me? Barnes and Nobles, it is on sight. I'm actually gonna start crying. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna break down into tears. This is so horrible, no. I'm gonna try my hardest to decrimp it. I kind of fix it a little bit, but I'm gonna have to apply like direct pressure to keep the pages like that. Oh, I'm so sad. If I find out who packaged this, I'm gonna pull up on Barnes and Noble's warehouse in New York and I'm gonna beat a bitch's ass because I am absolutely distraught. It might not look like much, but to me it is much. Anyway, this is about a girl who can grow plants. What more of a summary do you need? I haven't even read the summary. I don't need to. Black Poison Ivy, sign me up. I didn't even notice her. She has flowers in her hair. Are you kidding me? I love you. I'm so excited to read this. I'm so excited to display this. This is gorgeous, okay, okay. The fourth book I got, fourth, third, the more book I got is So This Is Love, another Twisted Tales edition. This Twisted Tales is about Cinderella and the premise reads, what if Cinderella never tried on the glass slipper? And this particular Twisted Tales is written by Elizabeth Lim. Right off the back, this is gorgeous. Something about, I guess, the castle in the background really makes me like it a lot, especially the little glass slipper down here. Hold on, I wanna see if there's details on the inside cover. Is there not? Is this just disappointing? Yeah, this is just disappointing. Not all hardcovers are gonna have fancy little art on the actual book itself, but a girl can dream, right? I really am obsessed with Twisted Tales. I really wanna read more of it, and I really wanna do like a big gigantic video of me talking about all of the Twisted Tales books thus far. I've only read two. I've read the Beauty and the Beast one, and I've read, of course, the Peter Pan one. And as the time I am recording this and going to upload it, on its way is a tangled Twisted Tales book, and I have already pre-ordered it. It's gonna be mine. That's a lie. I'm going to be in school when it arrives to my house, so my mother is probably gonna have to ship it to me via college post mail. But whatever, I'll have it in my hands and I'll read it. I'm so excited. Tangled is my favorite series, and to think that there is going to be a Twisted Tales, groundbreaking, breathtaking, amazing, the moment. I'll read this when I get into a Disney mood. Whenever that is. That's all for the books that came in that package, but I actually went to Barnes and Nobles the other day because I'm sick in the head and I need to buy books to feel something. So I bought two books and this is one of them. This is Vanessa Yu's Magical Paris T-shirt written by Roselle Lim. Roselle Lim. Listen, I was just walking around Barnes and Nobles, a Barnes and Nobles that I really didn't go to a lot, so I was just trying to make my mad dash way to the science fiction area, and I just happened by adult fiction. I saw this, I just ripped it off the shelf, read one sentence on the back, and I was like, yep, yeah, and I just put it in my basket. Let me just read to you the first sentence right here. Ahem, <clears throat> Vanessa, you never wanted to see people's fortunes or misfortunes in tea leaves. That's right. This girl tells people's fortunes by seeing into the bottom of a teacup. Sign me up. How can you not want to read that? I don't I don't know the rest of the book. I don't I'm not reading the rest of the summary. That's all I need to know. She picks up a teacup and can see people's fortunes. That's it. That's all I need to know. That's all you need to sell me on. Also, this is such a pretty cover. I am not the biggest fan of bright poppy pastel covers clearly i am a lot more into that dark fantasy so when i find a book that is like pastel and it pops and it's nice i do have like a weird appreciation for it because it's not something i go for ever and not only that it hooked me immediately so i am so excited for this and look at the spine look how cute the spine is look at this color sequence i could die for it. This is gonna look really weird with the rest of my paperbacks here because you have all like dark, dark fantasy and then you just have <laughs> magical tea shop. 
Don't worry, I never stray far from my roots because here's a sapphic dark academia book. This is a lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. The cover is not anything too special, I guess you could say, but uh, the summary, if I may indulge you. Felicia Morrow is back at Dalloway High School. It just says school, Adriana, not high school. Amazing reading skills. Can't wait for my English degree. This centuries old ivy covered campus was home until the tragic death of her girlfriend. Now after a year away, she's returned to finish high school. She even has her old room in the Godwin house, the exclusive dormitory rumored to be haunted by the spirits of the five Dalloway students. Girls some say were witches. Witchcraft, dark academia, lesbians. The perfect book, may I say. No, I'm so excited for this. I am a sucker for Dark Academia books and I haven't really seen a real Dark Academia book in YA in a while. So I'm very excited for this, to sink my claws into this. Also because of the fact that it talks about witchcraft and we all know I love some good old witchcraft in my books. Is she gonna disappoint me? Is she gonna disappoint me? Not disappointing, we got that fancy purple, okay. Okay, you did better. You did better than the other one. I give her more brownie points than the other one. I don't know how I'm gonna fit all of these on the bookshelf. I should not be carrying things. I had surgery two weeks ago. I don't know how I'm gonna fit these in here. I don't know if I can fit these in here. Look how cute my little baby Karomi is. The sad thing is, is that this is not my entire book collection. Uh, half more of it is in my closet. I just took the nicest ones that I can display. So until I get um, a bookshelf that covers an entire wall, I don't think I'll ever truly have space for my books. And that's all for today. My headphones just died, so that's how you know this video's over. Just wanted to show a little bit of the books I bought because I don't want to feel like I wasted my money and I wanted to at least put the books to good use besides actually reading them. Mm -hmm. But thanks for watching. My name is Adriana and stay tuned for more videos of me talking to you about books and then sometimes I cry about them. Just a little change of pace. I can't talk anymore with these and these headphones are dead. Thank you for watching. If this was your first video of me, I'm sorry, but maybe stick around. Here are some of my socials that you can follow me on and maybe DM me and be like, hey, be safe, be well, be you, be true. Is that the Winx slogan? Bye.